Hello everyone and once again welcome to uh, Z Income Ideas and today I just want to challenge you uh, on something and uh, you'll bear with me I'll be reading from the screen so I'll be uh, moving my eyes from time to time so uh, there's one thing that I want to challenge everyone out there do you know that if you are broke right now it is your fault don't blame your, your friend, uh, your brother, your father, your government. And uh, someone said that uh, the problem that we have uh, uh, in, in, in a third world country, they say that we, we are fond of blaming others for even the things that we can correct ourselves. So today I want to just challenge you that it is not, uh, we should not blame. Uh, whatever, whoever made a mistake, whatever mistake was made, we should move on and uh, start uh, uh, doing the things o on our own because we are still alive and we can make those changes. So it is not the government. It, it will not even be coronavirus that will, will, will cause us you know, not, not to, 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 to make some money. So uh, I'm not talking about being rich or whatever, but just to have income, uh, maybe a daily income, something you can survive on. I'm not talking about extravagant life here, but just to have some money that you can use responsibly, myself and yourself. So the, the fact and the truth is that you are too smart. I am too smart and creative uh, to be broke. The problem is that you are not you are not thinking right. You 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 uh, forgive me if that sounds offensive, but we are not thinking right. If we are not making money, there is just something that we just don't know. Something that we are just not doing. So um, today I want to talk uh, to you about uh, uh, the things that we should avoid. If we are going to make some money, if you are going to make a money, even on daily basis, you, you are capable, you and I are capable of making a, a, some money to sustain us on a daily basis if we stay away from a few things that I'll mention in this video. And one of the, the things is when, you know, mm, I respect education at uh, uh, we learn so much from school, and uh, the issue is that the problem is that we, we've been taught to be a, too expectant about what we will get from our education, and we are using it sometimes as a, as, as a, comp a competition tool. Education is not supposed to be a competition tool. We are not comparing knowledge. We are getting the, the skills to use in our lives from education. So let's not get all this uh, idea twisted. We should not have a mentality that the world owes us a favor, they owe us a job, because no one, you, are, you, are, you went to school, you paid your fees to get an education, so the transaction was complete. So don't have a mentality that somebody owes you something because you went to school. Number two is uh, when it's more like the same thing. Some people are worried, they are ashamed at what people will say if they did uh, learn something. They want just to land on doing something big in just one day. Even if whatever you did, whatever you studied, whatever skill you have, the Bible says, do not despise humble beginnings. So, you will have to start from somewhere. Process is for everyone. Everyone has to start from somewhere for you to get where you want to go. Otherwise, if you don't start, you might never get there. So, never be worried about what people will say, ashamed at what they will look at you. It is you, your life. You are the captain of your life. And nobody, uh, nobody matters in the equations 
unless to the extent where they give you advice, counsel, they coach you to, to, to move you further. Otherwise, don't worry. Plan your life and do whatever it is, starting from the humble things that, that, that are there to, for you to do, to get to your destination. One day you get there. Rome was, was not built in one day, somebody said. So, uh, number three, laziness. We are just lazy. You, we sit around at home, you are sleeping. You know, uh, the greatest gift that we all have is time. So the way you use time, you and I, the way we use time, uh, determines uh, the outcome of our lives. So um, when you have time, think of something that you want to be doing while you, are, you have that time. When you have free time, what are you supposed to be doing? So if you sit down, you let your time uh, move, go without you, not even learning a single thing, not you doing, just acting to do something. Even if you go somewhere, you try to uh, sell something, uh, sell your idea, sell your skill, that will be, as you go on, as you do that, you will find that something will be working out. But if you sit around, you, you, you will never earn anything by sitting down. Um, you don't wait uh, for that break. Okay. By God's grace, some they get that break, but most of the time you will have to follow the process. Number four, lack of vision or focus. You know, when we are in life, the Bible in, in the book of Ecclesiastes says, um, bread does not come to the wise, nor is it a good thing to, to, or the rest to the swift. But time and the chance happens to all of them. So God gives us chance. You cannot say you never have money, you never have things that can help you. We all have at one time or the other. But the way we use them to create something for the future. Because what you have today, you have to invest it uh, for, for the next time uh, when maybe things will be different. So when you don't have a vision it causes you to, to, to get broke someday in the near future. So if you lack focus, when you have money, you have a job now, the thing is you can use it to create something, to learn some skill that will help you uh, create some money, some, some uh, income vehicles or something that will help you make money in the future. So. Vision is what you see in the near future. If you don't see anything there, that's where you're going, but there, there will not be something, there will be less for you there because you create your future right now. So we need to be focused. We don't need to live a carefree life. Uh, there are so many uh, regrets that I personally in my life I've encountered, I wish I would have done uh, certain things differently. So you are privileged uh, in your case that I'm sharing this with you. Number five, dependability syndrome. By that I mean depending so much on others. You are depending on your father. You depend on uh, the government. You are depending on the, that deal someday that will come out and you are seated uh, waiting for whoever to fend for you. We were not created. We are more powerful than that. So that also makes us not make money. You have to go out and hustle. You go out and you make your own life. Uh, number six, religious mentality towards money and wealth. Sometimes certain things that we learn from religious groups are uh, actually, I'm sorry to say, that they are wrong. Uh, where they teach you to hate money, they teach you to hate the earth, to, they teach you wealth is wrong. 
Uh, but others are getting worse. So whatever you think, the, the Bible says, uh, as a man thinketh, so is he. So the way you think, that is what you turn out to be. So whatever you want to be, you think it now. Don't think money is bad. The Bible does not say money is bad, but it says that the love of the money, being so connected that you love money more than anything else, that is the real problem that we have. Otherwise, wealth, any everybody should have. God expects us to, to work hard and amass some wealth in our life. I, I don't really worry about uh, getting rich or whatever, but we should get some considerate, consider uh, just some moderate uh, wealth. Then number seven, not using your skill to earn money. You know, uh, again, we go back to the education thing, where when you are, you are, as you have graduated, you are waiting for something to happen. Try to create some sort of service around your 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 your, your, your skills, whatever you learned. Uh, I've learned so many things. One of the things is what I'm doing now, uh, as a, a, a blogging. Uh, I've learned this, and I'm putting this in, uh, into practice, I'm actually making blogs for other people and realizing a little money from it. So don't sit on your skills, on your talent. Start from somewhere. Uh, go out. Tell people about what you do. And you certainly make some money. Uh, number eight, too proud to learn new things. Some people just don't want to learn new things. You know, when life becomes difficult, invest in knowledge. Ignorance is the big, bigger reason why we are not where we are supposed to be. Number nine, uh, procrastination. Don't procrastinate your dream, your, your, your plans. Just go out and start from somewhere. Start doing it. And the last one, the blame game. I, I talked about where you should not blame anybody for anything. I, I hope uh, this short video has given you some light for you to think about. And please comment uh, uh, on the blog in my comment boxes and let me know. You can uh, just tell me if there is something new you want me to to share or shed more light on. You can uh, talk to me about maybe coming over somewhere to just talk to you about, just to encourage you in these things. Thank you for watching.